Aron Darkmoon against QRTZ. Quartz, we can call him. Uh, and this is uh, some fighters from Aron Darkmoon. And he also has a carrier, a, a long range anti fighter hybrid, kind of. And uh, Aron. And Aura, uh, Quartz is making some minimal fighters and it looks like he's gonna try to get some kills, but yeah, he turns away. He couldn't really. Yeah, these things have a lot of armor, so yeah. Gotta be careful against that. And it looks like your Quartz is gonna. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna retreat in face of that. A good choice, I think. And here comes a little bomber. I mean, a little uh, nuke. A cloak nuke even, with some jump drives. It should be able to deal with his uh, with uh, Aron Darkmoon's sponge up, and Aron Darkmoon is uh, making a nuke on his own. This is gonna force him to spread out and looks. Wh where is this nuke going? It's gonna reach? No, no, <laughs> not enough energy. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's a fail. And yeah, I mean, Quartz is supporting with some spam of his own. And here comes some more and some uh, some more minimal EMP fighters. And yeah, and I don't think Oren Darkman should have trouble fighting this. He has a lot of uh, he has some sidewinders and this this long range modded flak. And yeah, he shouldn't uh, he shouldn't really have trouble dealing with this spam. But this is a long range ship with some artillery. This should be decent against. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, again, spam with the artillery and the long range plasma is gonna be able to poke away. But it has missed so far. And here comes the bomber. And they just trade a, a, nu a nuke for a nuke, so. Not really an interesting exchange there. But it was good for uh, Aron Darkmoon that he could intercept the nuke that before it reached his ships. And it looks like uh, Aron Darkmoon is moving in. This could Dice uh, he's gonna lose this uh, last ship, and yeah, oh, all this concentrated firepower. What is this? It's all of energy. His carries out of energy. Oh, oh, this looks bad. Yes, not. Our uh, dark moon has no uh, splash damage left. These fighters might be able to clean up the rest. Let's see. Only this artillery should could be able to change this. Oh, you should kill this. I think you could go in. Quartz. Yeah, but he's gonna be able to poke away also as well. And this is doing quite a bit of damage. Yeah, this uh, concentrated fire, like there's four artillery hitting at the same time. He can punch through this point defense. Even this is yes, two point defense. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. I think uh, Quartz should have moved in when he had the chance. But now he's gonna suffer a bit. Oh, it looks like. He wants to retaliate, but he's gonna be countered by fighters. Oh, such mismanagement by Quartz. He should have pressed stop so his uh, fighter. He was uh, just putting them here, and that was bad. He was just going there and then getting killed by the, his, without firing at the Aron Darkmoon's fighters. Yeah, and this artillery has been doing good work. But now it's out of sync and out of energy, so it doesn't fire in volleys, so it's not gonna punch through the PD, the point defense. And yeah, it looks like QRTS is forced to fight these heavily armored uh, fighters. And I think uh, in the long run, I think the Orn Dark Moon will win this because he has so much armor on these things. They have 84 hit points, and yeah, and the Orn and the Quartz only has 43. Hit points. No, I mean 30 hit points. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, and yeah, this ship is poking away. It's starting to make cost now. Um, can he turn around it? I think with some good fighter control, I think uh, Oron Darkmoon can turn it around. But he's still a, a bit behind, I think. And it's supporting with some uh, side wonders. This is decent against uh, against uh, fighters and such, but it it needs to get in range. 
So I'm not sure if Arun is planning to like rush down uh, Quartz or if he's like trying to... He has nothing to poke away at Quartz, but he can dodge the Plasma pretty reliably if he just keeps microing. And yes. And he's getting some flanking fire. I'm not sure. Uh, this is. I think our Dark Moose fighters will be this. He has such a lot of HP. Oh! Uh, it looks like Wars had uh, just a massive amount of fighters. And he was able to bunch up in the front lines uh, while, while our Dark Moon's fighters was kind of spread out, so all of his uh, fighters didn't fire at the same time. And it looks like uh, our Dark Moon's is forced to move in. And I think this Quartz got this. This ship has so much HP. Yeah, he needs to send these those fighters. But it looks like... Yeah, it looks like he's out of energy. And these Sidewinder mines is gonna go down easily if he has targets them, if he has Auron targets them. And it, yeah, he does get some down. But yeah, this ship is still alive and healthy. And yeah, it doesn't look like um, Auron Darkman has anything to deal with it quite right now. And this cloaked Sidewinder, yeah. Yeah, well played, QRT said. I would say his uh, his superior fight micro and uh, forcing uh, Oran Dark Moon to like uh, drive around was making him win the game.